Hey, this is Mike Matthews from Most for Life and Legion Athletics. And I'm often asked if caffeine actually helps your workouts or not. And the short answer is yes. Studies do show that ingesting caffeine anywhere from 30 to 90 minutes before you exercise does indeed enhance your performance. Research shows that caffeine decreases perceived effort, so it makes your workouts feel easier, it makes you more resistant to fatigue, and especially with high intensity stuff like sprinting and cycling. It also increases power output, it increases the amount of reps that you can get on resistance training exercises before failing, and last but not least, it can also boost strength and muscle endurance. Basically, caffeine makes for better workouts no matter how you wanna look at it, but you have to take enough. And a lot of people don't know what enough is. Studies have shown some benefits at three milligrams per kilogram of body weight, but the generally accepted optimal dose for maximizing performance benefits and minimizing the likelihood of experiencing unwanted side effects is closer to five or six milligrams per kilogram of body weight. And just to put those numbers in perspective, that's about 300 milligrams of caffeine or three cups of coffee for a 120 pound woman and about 500 milligrams or five cups for a 180 pound man. Uh, and those are numbers that are quite higher than what most people are taking before they train. Most people are taking maybe a half of a serving of a pre-workout or maybe they're drinking a cup of coffee or an energy drink that maybe has 100 or 120 milligrams. Now that said, if you are new to caffeine or if your intake is generally pretty low, I recommend that you start with that lower dosage of about three milligrams per kilogram of body weight, which has shown some benefit and then assess your tolerance. See how you feel. Do you get any side effects? If you feel fine, if you feel good, then work your dosage up. You should also know that the higher your body's tolerance of caffeine is, the less effective it is as a performance enhancer. And your body begins to build a tolerance almost right away. Studies have shown within the first one to four days, your body is already building a tolerance to it. And that tolerance of course goes up over time, which means that it takes more and more caffeine to have the same effects in the body. So ideally what you do is you would use caffeine just a few days per week in higher dosages before your hardest and heaviest workouts, you know, like your hard, heavy squat, or your hard, heavy deadlifts, mainly your lower body stuff, and have none on the other days. Now, in terms of where to get your caffeine from, you can get it from more or less whatever you want. You could drink coffee, you could drink an energy drink, you could have a pre-workout supplement. I myself do not like coffee or any drinks because of the amount of liquid that you have to drink to get the amount of caffeine that you want. So I use a pre-workout, and I use my own pre-workout in particular, which is called Pulse, which contains 350 milligrams of caffeine per serving, as well as five additional natural supplements that have been proven to enhance physical performance, like citrulline malate, beta alanine, betaine, and ornithine. If you wanna learn more about Pulse and the science behind the formulation, and if you wanna save 10% on your first order, just click the link in the description now.